Let's take time out to honor one of the area's elite basketball players. Her actions on the court help her team to success and make her stand out as our MVP. And this week's MVP is Jada Malone of the Village School. Jada Malone has dominated the private school ranks the past few years. Last year, she led the Village School to the TAP 6A state championship. And this season, she's helped them to an 18-1 record and a number one ranking in the state. She averaged 22 points and 11 rebounds last season as Malone is a physical low post performer who pounds the glass. Jada hopes to lead her team to back-to-back -back titles this year before heading off to Texas A&M next year. For her amazing play, we're excited to present a bobblehead to Jada Malone. Jada, because of these terrible winter conditions, we weren't able to physically get you the bobblehead yet, but you've seen a picture. What do you think of it? Oh, uh, I absolutely love it. I think you got my hair perfect and it looks just like me, so I love it. All right, since you've been a part of the Village School, the Vikings have been top dogs in the largest private school ranks. What do you attribute your team's success to? Um, really just teamwork in general. Like we've gotten really good at communicating through tough situations. And I think that was, that's what makes us a really good team, uh, especially in tough games. So. All right, Jada, when people look at your game, they see a traditional post player, someone who can clean the glass and show off some great low post moves. But what do you think your greatest asset is? Um, aside from rebounding, I definitely have been working on my shot. So I think that helps me be more versatile when it comes to looking at the traditional post player. And it's kind of what makes me a little bit different than everybody else. All right. Now, I understand that you've had your eye on Texas A&M since you were just a wee little girl, and now you're committed there. What is it about the Aggies that attracted you at such an early age? Uh, so I'm a very big family person. I've had family that has actually went to Texas A&M and played. And when I was there, you could just tell that everybody's treated like family. And that's something that's really, really important to me, especially since I'm going away from home. So um, just being in that type of atmosphere just makes you want to do your best. And on top of that, there's a great coach and he pushes you to be better every single day. And I love that. I love the school. All right, Jada, playoffs will be starting up soon, hopefully. The goal is obviously back-to-back -back titles, but what's it going to take to achieve that? Communication and teamwork and working through difficulty because, as you said, I mean, we're currently in a snowstorm, um, and there's a pandemic, of course, so there's a lot of challenges we got to work through, but I think if we communicate and we just work together, then we'll be fine and hopefully win another state championship for sure. Okay, Jada, we've had some serious weather issues across the entire state. What kinds of things have you done to pass the time while trapped at home? So I have been watching a lot of Netflix, I'm not gonna lie, but I have got a few workouts in. Um, my school actually is doing virtual um, Zoom workouts. So yeah, we've been on those trying to stay as a team because we know it's been a while since we played and it will be a while since we play again, but yeah, mostly Netflix and Zoom workouts. Okay, thanks for joining us, Jada, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you.